Hi, welcome back. Today, we'll explore some simple tools to create interesting models. Ready to begin? Let's get started. Vector Plane YZ Plane This is the Y axis. This is the Z axis. This is the YZ plane that we created. Now, let's use this plane to create a surface. Surface Primitive Plane surface Connect the planes. We created a vertical surface using the YZ plane. We can now disable the preview of the plane. Control plus Q. Now, let's adjust the surface dimensions. Double click on the Grasshopper canvas. 20.0. Press Enter. Connect to the X size. Control plus C. Control plus V. Connect to the Y size. 50. Double click the slider. 15. Now, let's learn how to divide a surface lengthwise and widthwise. Util ISO trim Connect the plane to the surface. Now, let's use a domain square to split the surface. Maths Domain Divide domain squared Connect the plane to the domain. Connect the segments to the domain. Control plus Q. Let's adjust the U and V counts of the domain. 5. Connect to the U count. Control plus C. Control plus V. Connect to the V count. 1 8 Since we will keep the V count as a fixed value, it makes more sense to use a panel instead of a slider. Delete To create a panel, simply type slash slash. Now, type the number you want to display in the panel. 1 Press Enter Connect to the V count We learned how to divide a surface. Now, let's learn how to extrude the surfaces incremental. Surface. Freeform. Extrude. Connect the surface to the base. Direction. We will extrude the surfaces in the X direction. Vector. Vector. Unit X Connect to the direction Now, let's learn how to extrude the surfaces incrementally by defining a range. We have 8 surfaces. We define the number of surfaces using the slider connected to the U count. Sets Range Let's take a closer look at the numbers we've created using a panel. Type slash slash to create a panel. Press Enter. Connect the range to the panel. Steps, 10. Connect the slider to the steps. Steps, 8. The range output has generated 9 values. The range component outputs one more value than the steps number because it includes both the start and end points. To account for the extra value of the range component, let's decrease the value connected to the steps input by 1. Maths. Subtraction.
Connect the slider to the A input. We can use the panel we created for the B input. Control plus C, Control plus V. Connect to the B. Result, 7. Connect to the steps. Great, we have now generated values equal to the number of surfaces. Range, 8. Connect the range to the factor. The extrude operation is giving an error because there is a zero value in our list. Domain, 0 to 1. Minimum, 0. Maximum, 1. Let's continue by adjusting the domain input. Construct domain. Connect the domains. Domain end, 1. 0 less than 50.0. Connect to the domain end. 50. Thirty. Control plus C. Control plus V. Connect to the domain start. Double click the slider. Four. Looks good. Using the range component, we successfully generated eight values evenly distributed between four and thirty. Delete. Control plus Q. We created eight closed extrusions. Let's union them into a single brep. Intersect. Solid union. Connect the extrusion to the breps. Eight closed breps. One closed brep. Control plus Q. Let's remove the unnecessary edges on our planar surfaces. Surface. Util. Merge faces. Connect the result to the brep. Control plus Q. Now, as we always do, Let's use the custom preview to better visualize our model. Display. Custom preview. Connect the breps to the geometry. Finally, let's change the color as well. Params. Input. Color picker. Connect to the material. Change the color. Change the hue value. 181. Now, let's convert our grasshopper model into a rhino model. Right click the geometry input. Bake. Click OK. Select the model. Move. Surface count. 5. Y size. 38. Domain end. 20.4. Right click on the the breps output. Bake. Click OK. Select the model. Move. Perspective. Monochrome. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.